welcome to the show with everything you could ever want to make or do right at your fingertips. I'm Stephen. I'm Fern. And on today's show... Like to keep an eye on things? In cryptic fingertips, find out how to make the nosiest neighbour in the street. Looks tasty, but don't be fooled by the food fingertips fish and chip trick cake. Get folding and make a watertight water bomb and paint bomb. And for all the details on today's makes, you could record the show and play it back. Look on our website or grab your pen and paper now and jot it down straight away. Now this is the part of the programme where we show you how to make something that's just for fun. And today's fun fingertip is this guy, the stretchy jaws. But how are you going to make him? Well, all you need to do is get a nice strong piece of card like this. You need to draw around a ruler six times. I've already drawn five there, so just draw the last one on. And it's quite important to leave a nice big gap between your last two ruler shapes, like that. And then draw around your ruler one more time, but this time onto a sheet of paper. Now fold your paper in half this way, and then fold it lengthways all along there, like that. And then get a pair of scissors and just cut a little snip on the corner bit there. And then on the same side, cut another snip just at the top there. And this is going to work as a template once you've opened it out, like this, where your pinholes are going to go. So put this down on top of your ruler shapes, get a pin and very carefully make a hole where you've got a gap like this. So now you need three holes on two of your ruler shapes and two holes on all of the rest. So just do the rest here. You need two on this side and the same on this one here. And then your last two, you need to hold this side and in the middle. And there's the last one. And it's now time to add your features to your fingertip stretchy jaws. Now we're going to draw them on these two strips. That's why we left a nice big gap around them. So first of all, let's give him a nice big nose. There we go. And let's give him big eyes like that so he can see everything and we'll make him a sleepy creature so there's his eyes and now for his jagged teeth make them nice and sharp there's his top jaw and you don't want to go past the middle point by the way you'll see why in a minute there's his bottom jaw and when you're happy with the features you then need to cut all your strips out and now it's time to paint your stretchy jaws. So you can paint them any colour at all you like. Poster paint or acrylic paint, both work really well. But just be careful not to block up the little holes that you made earlier with the pins. And when you've painted all your strips, it will look like this. And it's now time to assemble your fingertip stretchy jaws. And there's a set way to do this. What you need to do is take your top jaw and then get a strip with three holes in with a strip with two holes in and the same with the bottom one. So you get your bottom jaw, a uh, strip with three holes in and a strip with two holes in. And then you're going to lay it out. Now, your bottom jaw obviously goes on the bottom in that direction and all the other strips along the bottom go in the same direction like that. The top jaw goes obviously on the top. You lay that over and all the other strips that go on the top go in the same direction like this and it's now time to connect them and the way you connect them is with paper fasteners so you put it through the hole line it up and then flatten it out on the back do that with all of the holes and all of the strips and you'll end up with stretchy jaws that look like that and by the way if you have access to a computer you could check out our website we'll give you the address at the end of the show click on to fun fingertips and the templates for the stretchy jaws will be there. Also, if you video today's show, you can watch it back whenever you like. Uh, but if you have a pen and paper ready right now, we'll go over it again. Draw around a ruler six times, making sure you leave a gap around two of them. Make a paper template, ruler size, then fold the paper in half lengthways, and then in half again. Now you need to snip a hole in the centre and at one end. Now mark the position of these holes, three holes in two of the strips and two holes in the rest of them. Now it's time to draw on those eyes and teeth. And then you can paint all the strips and when you've assembled them, fasten them with paper fasteners. And you can use this principle to adapt your jaws. Look at this! Whoop. But whatever you do, make it snappy! Steve, 
when I was you. Now, if you like to keep an eye on things, but you don't like to be seen, you could try Stephen's way, or you could make the cryptic fingertips nosy neighbour. A picture you stick in your window that allows you to look out without being seen. Now, to make a nosy neighbour, all you need is a piece of card that you can hide your head and shoulders behind like this. And then you need to draw your nosy neighbour's face. The first thing you need to do is mark where the eye holes are going to go. So outstretch your index finger and middle finger and make two little crosses there and there, because that's roughly the same distance between your two eyes. And then you can start to draw your nosy neighbour's face around these two points. And once you've done that, you can cut your nosy neighbour's eye holes out. So take a pencil and a piece of modelling clay, pop one of these underneath each eye and just pierce a hole. And here's a hole in this one too. And this gives you a nice starting point to cut out your eyes. And once you've cut them out, you'll have a nosy neighbour that looks like this. Now, pop your nosy neighbour face down and take another white piece of card in the shape of a rectangle and place it over your eye holes and get one piece of sticky tape and just stick that down on the top bit. So now you've got a hinge and a little flap. Now you're ready to turn it over and get painting your alien. Now what you need to do is paint the background black so it looks like he's standing behind a window. Now once he's dry and he looks like this, you need to get a pen and draw on your fake alien eyes. So just onto the flap of paper that you put in before, draw on some nice little pupils like that. And one this side. And then you can lift up your flap and take a sneaky peek whenever you like. And if you don't want to do an alien, how about a curious cat? Or you could try drawing a cartoon of one of your best friends. But remember, the trick works best on people who don't know the secret behind your nosy neighbour. Oh, there's nothing I like better than some nice fish and chips. Bit of salt and vinegar, I think. What do you reckon, Steve? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. This is one portion of fish and chips you don't add salt and vinegar to. It looks good, it tastes great, but everything is not quite what it seems. Something fishy is going on here because this isn't fish at all, it's actually cake. This is the Fingertips Fish and Chip Trick Cake. It's great fun to make and it's great to taste. Now, first, you need to make an ordinary sponge cake, and you can get the recipe for this from any cookbook. Alternatively, you could just buy a packet mix and follow the instructions. Now, once your cakes have been cooked and they've cooled down and you've turned them out, it's time to cut them into the shape of a fish fillet. I've already done one here, so I'm going to use this as a template, pop that on top of my other sponge, and just cut down this side here, and down here, and around the back. Now, you may need to get a bit of help with this bit here. Now, just take that top bit off there. And there you have it, two fish fillets. Now, I've sandwiched the two fish fillets with a nice layer of strawberry jam in the middle. And it's now time to batter the fish. And for this, you're going to need some butter icing. So, grab yourself some butter, icing sugar and some milk. And when you have them, then you're ready to go. So you need to get 100 grams of butter. Make sure it's at room temperature because if you try and take the butter straight from the fridge, trust me, it's not going to work and you'll be there all day. Then get yourself 225 grams of icing sugar. Add that to the butter like this. There we go. And now just two tablespoons of milk like that. There's one and there's two. And then you need to give it a good beating until it's nice and smooth. So here we go. Now it will take a bit of time, but do keep going and the butter will soften and mix in smoothly. Now it should end up looking something like this. And when it does, it's time to add the batter to your fish. So get yourself a knife and you want to carefully just put it onto your fish fillets at it. Just wipe it on. Let's get another bit. There we go. And the good thing is, it doesn't have to be that neat, because batter isn't, is it? Now, to make your chips, you want to take over your leftover bits of cake and very carefully just slice some long, thin shapes like this. And then you can cut off the edges here and here. 
And look at this. How realistic do these look? Check that out. It does look good, doesn't it? And it's now time for the peas. Now, you're going to use marzipan for these. And to make the marzipan cream, put it in a plastic bag, add some green food colouring, and give it a squidge around until it's green all over. Now, if you don't want to get green fingertips, you could always use fondant icing that you can buy in the shops. Take a pinch of that, roll it in your fingertips, and you'll have a nice pea like that. Add this one to the rest and you're now ready to put your dinner together. So, we've got the fish, which looks good. I've got my chips ready, so let's put them in place. And I've got the peas, let's... Uh... Oh, that does look very tasty indeed. And I'll tell you what else you should not forget, and that is some strawberry jam for a big blob of tomato ketchup. So let's get a nice dollop of that there. Oh, That's cool, isn't that it? It does look nice. Huh? So if you want to have a go at these, why don't you uh, fool your friends with your very own fish and chip trick cake? And if you thought that was good, how about chomping your way through a hamburger with melted cheese? Or what about a hot dog complete with onions and wiggly mustard? Go on, give it a go and feed your face with fantastic food fingertips. Oh, mm. Are you trying to draw a large circle? Compass is not quite big enough. You need the oversized circle service. Tie some string to a pin and a pencil. Keep everything tight and upright and draw. It's perfect circles every single time. Got a minute? Because this is the part of the programme where we show you how to make something in under a minute using odds and ends that you can find around your home. Today is my turn to make. And it's my turn to tie. And this is all it takes. One sheet of paper, I will amaze you with it. And it is a great make, but in rehearsals, Fern hasn't done it in a minute. All right. And try and guess what she's making before the minute runs out. Are you all ready? Right. Scared about this one. Let's see okay. if I can do it. Will she do it? Here we go. On your marks, get set, go! OK, first of all, fold a piece of paper in half this way. Unfold it. Do the same again. Oh, oh bits of it. Ten uneven. seconds of gold! Oh, dearie me. Turn it over, then. Corner to corner, unfold, exactly the same, corner to corner. Better speed up, up and 20 seconds have gone. Triangle shape, then all we need to do is go into the centre here and exactly the same. Into Half the a minute. Ah! Oh, it's all up. No, it's all right, I can recover. There we go. Fold that into that pocket there. Squish 40 down. seconds and all is not well. 20 seconds. Left, OK. Now, do exactly the same. Turn over. <laughs> Fold in. It might look messy, it will all work. Don't you worry about it. Don't you panic. 50 seconds, 10 seconds, 8, 7... Stop rushing me! 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Stop! 1... 59 seconds! That yes. is the closest ever. Oh, no way. It. Now, you're not going to know what it is, so come on. Right, let's hope this works. It is a watertight cube and a water bomb. There you go. Now look, there's so many folds in this one, so let's go over it one more time. I'll show you. Okay, so you get a square piece of paper and then you fold it in half like this. And then you want to unfold it and fold it in half again so you get an X on the piece of paper like that. There's the X. Now you turn the whole thing over and fold it in the opposite direction. So fold it over just there. Open it out and fold it over one more time. Now these lines are, and creases are just going to give you a guide so you can do this magic move. All you do is squeeze the paper and as you squeeze it, look, it automatically hey. goes into the X shape. Bit neater than mine one, that one. It is. <laughs> it's <a bit> funny. <laughs> um, and now what you do is you fold everything in like this to make a diamond shape on both sides. And again, if you've got a computer, you can check all this out on the Fingertips website. We'll give you the address at the end of the show, because um, there is a lot of folds to remember. And of course, if you video today's show, then you can just watch it back whenever you like. Um, so now what you're doing is just neatening it, everything up, just fold it all in, and these edges too. And the great thing is, look, you can actually tuck them. There's little pockets where you can tuck these bits into like that. That is much neater than mine, isn't and it? And do it on this side as well. There we are. Then you just turn it over and do the exact same on the other side, so you'll end up with something that looks like this. 
Then all you have to do is blow it up. Then you just need some water to fill it up. Here we go. Like that. I think that should be enough. Ooh. And then you just need a willing volunteer. Fun. <laughs> Stephen? No. How, How about, about you? you? Brace yourselves. <laughs> now, if you want to make it colourful as well as bombable, add poster paint. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> so try beating the clock and make a bomb. Where are you? Next time on Fingertips, we'll show you how to make a whole gang of these. It's the Fingertips Pyramid Pen Pal. In Green Fingertips, we show you how to turn a card into a plant. And in Cryptic Fingertips, find out how to make an ink blotch into a secret message. Well, that's it for today's Fingertips. Now, if you want to make anything from today's programme, then make sure you check out our Fingertips website. The address is on the screen right now. So we'll see you next time for more Fingertips. See ya. Bye. Bye, -bye. See ya.